You're watching Channel 8 WMTW. Maine's total coverage starts right now. Happening now, an outcry from school officials after the Gorham Town Council votes to slash $2 million from the proposed school budget. We have a live report on what that could mean for the school in just a minute. And over in Vermont, we're continuing to monitor the situation there. We know that some residents have been rescued from floodwaters, people who were trapped, brought to safety. We're going to let you know what the state's governor is now saying about recovery and the potential for danger in the days to come. Hey, good morning and thank you so much for being with us today. I'm Terry Stackhouse. And I'm Kathleen Jordan. Today is Thursday, July 13th. Let's get you outside with a check of your forecast. Meteorologist Ted McInerney is working on that for us this morning and we've been really enjoying the weather. So I'm just hoping it sticks around a little bit longer. I don't think that's how it works though. No, that's not usually how it works. The nope. weather today, not as nice as yesterday, even though uh, we did get those isolated showers, of course, right over the weather guy's house, right? Let's take a look at our uh, uh, forecast for what's going on for today. We're starting off not bad at 67 degrees with clear skies. Now let's talk about what's going on for the rest of the day. The uh, temperatures will get up into the upper 70s, but it will be about 10 degrees colder today uh, than what it was yesterday at this time. So that's what we're looking at there. Uh, we're looking at noontime 77, but you see mostly cloudy skies. Very slim chances for rain until later tonight. 